Hey guys, Dr. Gus here, naturopath, acupuncturist, conventional doctor, and founder of Dr. Landivar.com. Welcome to today's video. A lot of the natural ingredients we have every day in our foods, we ignore their actual health benefits. In this case, vitamin E. Vitamin E we can find in foods like avocados, like for example, nuts and grains and even spinach. Stuff like we, what we eat naturally, maybe once a week or maybe two, two times a week. But what is vitamin E good for? What does actually vitamin D do to your health? And believe it or not, a lot of people that may be deficient in vitamin D might see problems like maybe problem eyesight. They might see problems with circulatory, their circulatory system. The antioxidant processes in their body, they might get old fast without noticing that what they're actually missing is vitamin D, so vitamin E, sorry. So what does vitamin D, to e do to your body? Where can you find it? And what are the studies and what they tell us about how we can take it, how much we can take, and what is the best type of vitamin D, vitamin E you can actually consume? So first of all, what is vitamin E? Well, vitamin E is a liposomal vitamin, meaning it comes or it can actually be absorbed better by the body with oils, it actually comes with uh, oily foods that have oil in it, in this case, avocado. I showed you a picture right, right before this study. For example, avocados, you have nuts, you have oils, and they come uh, in foods like these. But vitamin E is better absorbed in oil form or with oils. And believe it or not, it has a very strong relationship with our skin. Not because we have oily skin, but a lot of people um, a lot of people use vitamin E to improve skin health, and this is true because vitamin E has a very central function with respects to membranes. Guess what cells are made of? Membranes in the outside, and we need vitamin E actu actually to make and stay with structure and stability, and that's one of the reasons why vitamin, D is, vitamin E is so important for skin health. I have a question here I'm gonna answer, and we're gonna keep going with the video. But vitamin E is a vital nutrient. It is a really a vital nutrient. If you're not taking vitamin E, vitamin E should vitamin E should be something you consider. You have to consider. Math G is asking, can we use vitamin E on the skin? Yes. The answer is yes. Absolutely no problem. As a matter of fact, there are many, many creams out there that use vitamin E as an ingredient to improve skin health because there is a very, very important difference between people that use vitamin E as a natural substance as a skin lotion or whatever, and it actually works, it does work, because vitamin E, once again, has to be present in order for you to have membranes in your cells to stay healthy. So consider that. If you need something natural, the best form, more, most absorbable and most effective in the body form of vitamin E, look for Vito E from Fineland at finelandvitamins.com and take advantage of today, which actually is uh, one of those Black Friday days of the month of November. Number two, a lot of people don't know that vitamin E, and if you're not taking vitamin E, if you're not taking grains or nuts and seeds, maybe uh, foods that contain vitamin E, you might not know about this, and that's why probably why you're not including, them, uh, including vitamin E in their diet. But vitamin E is extremely spectacular as a preventive source of cardiovascular uh, disease. It's very, very central to our function within our veins, within our circulatory system, our heart, because it's an antioxidant, meaning just like what we know of, of oxidation, I don't know if you've seen rust in your house, that's exactly what happens in the body. There is an oxidative stress within our cells because of that normal wear and tear of every single day life, we need an antioxidant. We need something that can actually improve our health by reducing that oxidative stress and putting away the process of that accelerating form of aging. So vitamin E again, prevention of cardiovascular, there are many studies, plenty of them. I can't stay and look in every single one of them, but this review, and this is a review of many studies, <clears throat> details the scientific basis and clinical evidence related to the effect of vitamin E and cardiovascular outcomes. So for example, if you have high blood pressure, you might want to take vitamin E. If you have congestive heart failure, you might want to take vitamin E. I don't, I don't, uh, I don't actually 
voucher for taking more than what you need, but you can take vitamin E every day, and I guarantee where it's been it's been seen all over. The vitamin E is very important for cardiovascular health. Number three, a lot of people don't know this, and they have problems with coagulation. They have uh, problems with that circulatory system and making sure that there's no 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 plaques in their system. Well, vitamin E is also a modifier of platelet function, huh? Well, it's an anti. It's a, there's an inhibitory process and prevention of platelet aggregation. Why is this important? Well, because there's a lot of people taking aspirin to make sure that their blood is not clotted or that their blood is not um, not causing them any problems with that circulatory health with respects to, for example, a stroke that they might have or they might be preventing or they or they had and they're preventing not to go over that again. Well, again, in conjunction with potent inhibitors of platelet aggregation, vitamin E has become a widely applied treatment and a regimen of this group of diseases. Which ones? Platelet diseases. So if you have any circulatory problem, again, if you want beauty, vitamin E. If you want antioxidant form of vitamin E, take vitamin E. If you want something that can help you with cardiovascular health, vitamin E. If you want something that can help you with that circulatory system, vitamin E. If you need something natural that can also help you out with, for example, uh, circulation overall, which contains also other ingredients like resveratrol, maybe even other forms of vitamins, not just vitamin E, look for On Cardio from Fineland at finelandvitamins.com, Vein Flow, and also Heart Excel from Fineland at finelandvitamins.com. I have another question here. Let me answer this question and we'll keep going. So we have beauty, we have cardiovascular health, we have circulation, we have platelets, what more? Elizabeth Grames is asking for my eyes. Do we need to take it orally also? Well, yes, you can actually put it in your eyes, so you have to take it orally. That, that's, I mean, that's, that's a must. I have a study here. Let me see if I can find it real quickly. Uh, talking about vitamin E and the eyes, which is one of those foods that we need for, for our eyes. Let me see if I can find it. I can't see it here. Oh, here you go. Nutrients for aging eye diseases, or in this, in this case, aging eyes. Again, vitamin E, these nutrients of most interest to people are vitamin C, very important for circulatory health and antioxidant health. Vitamin E, again, our eyes are have very small vessels that circulate within these capillaries and need a good circulatory process. Beta carotene, zinc, lutein, zeanthine, omega-3 fatty acids, all these are very important, but vitamin E is one of them. One of those key vitamins, if you have any eye problem, if you have maybe <coughs> you're using glasses or you need something to help you with that, look for vitamin E. Why not vitamin E? If you need something natural again, you can look for Visofar, which contains more than just vitamin E, lutein, zeanthine, um, vitamin C, uh, seawit, algae, many ingredients that are very uh, rare, if you want, per se. I have another question here. Let me answer this question and we'll keep, we'll keep going. So eyes, it's a fat. Let's see if it actually improves fatty liver disease. Lally123 is asking, can we give it to our child? No problem. No problem at all, at all. Vitamin E is actually a vital nutrient needed for cells to reproduce and to actually stay healthy and stay well within our skin, within our veins, within our bodies, within our tissues, everything. And vitamin E can also, if you're asking yourself that, and I started the video talking about how vitamin E is better absorbed with something that is fatty, you might ask yourself, well, does it have an opposite effect of fatty liver or does it actually improve a fatty liver? Well, there are many studies now seeing that vitamin E can actually decrease the risk for a fatty liver. If you have a fatty liver, you might want to stay away from cholesterol. You might want to stay away from fats, from, from sugars, from carbohydrates, but not away from vitamin E. Vitamin E can help you a lot with that. All right, number five or number six, I lose control about how many... How many benefits we go over when, when we do these videos? <clears throat> number six, I'll say number six. It is very common for us today to have problems with memory impairment, right? People might not be thinking clearly. They, they, have, they have memory loss. They feel that the cognitive effect of eating junk food all the time and being in a situation maybe of stress or living a life maybe that we think or we deem healthy, but we still see that memory degradation or our cognitive 
impairment settling? Well, vitamin E can also help slow down that cognitive impairment. Remember, vitamin E is excellent to push that circulatory system to reduce inflammation to make sure that, you're, that these vitamins serve as an anti-inflammatory effect. Well, vitamin E can also help with brain, uh, brain health overall. I like to take something else, though. I like to take more of what we call, uh, what I call berberin, berberine, which is a supplement here in finelandvitamins.com, and curcu health also helps with metathyroid from fineland and finelandvitamins.com. All right, last but not least, <clears throat> a lot of people use vitamin E every day uh, to see, for example, that their hormones are in order. Well, for women, believe it or not, for women and for men, Taking vitamin E can actually improve fertility because it is a, vi a vital nutrient. And sometimes we need fertility. We need fertility. Why? Because if we have sexual hormones that are natural to our body, we will see that repair of the way we were repairing ourselves when we were young. We will see a better cycle of hormones. We will see a better energy cycle. We will see a better improvement with respects to hormone, um, to hormone equilibrium. So vitamin E, again, has been seen to improve dysmenorrhea. This is actually when women have problems with their that time of the month, if you want. I can't really say that much because YouTube starts blocking videos. But it helps a lot with these symptoms, with maybe hormone imbalances, and it does help with overall health with everything, including beauty that I haven't even gotten into because there's so many things we can say about vitamin E. Give this like, give this video a like, like button, uh, like, like on the video. Make sure to share with someone that might be needing it, that you might see that, you know, he takes vitamin E, he'll like this video. I don't know. I'll see you tomorrow in the next video. We'll be talking about something else. I guarantee that it will, will, will be worth it. I'll see you tomorrow in the same channel, same